Good morning. Will God relent now that there seems to be a spiritual glimmer going on with the King Zedekiah? Our reading is in Jeremiah chapter 21, verses 3 to 7 today. Here we are. Then Jeremiah said to them, Thus you shall say to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands, with which you fight against the king of Babylon and the Chaldeans who besiege you outside the walls. And I will assemble them in the midst of this city. I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in anger and fury and great wrath. I will strike the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast. They shall die of a great pestilence. And afterwards, says the Lord, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, his servants and the people, and such as are left in this city, from the pestilence and the sword and the famine, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those who seek their life, and he shall strike them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare them or have pity or mercy. Now, we can't read the heart, but you know what? God can read the heart. We can notice things that have been done or have not been done. And we can read Jeremiah's response knowing that, that God knows best. Jeremiah's response is truly God's response. God is speaking through the words of his prophet, Jeremiah. And his response is, I guess you could classify this as a firm response. God will not only not relent and deliver them from Babylon this time, he's going to fight against them. And all their apostasy and high-handedness, God is coming against them. And it's not just against King Zedekiah. The very princes and leaders and, and his advisors who who tried to, uh, who, who led him to this position of being in rebellion against God, God's going to fight against all of them. They will not be spared unless they turn. They are uh, certainly subject to God's anger, according to what we've read. And the national leaders who've encouraged Zedekiah in this path, they're actually going to be captured, and they'll go through all these trials, and then perhaps even be slain at the edge of the sword here. God is angry because of their rebellion, and many of them are going to die. There's a terrible price to pay for rebellion and sin, and there are consequences to our actions. God's purposes of mercy remain, but, but first there are some necessities that have to be addressed. God is going to end these apostate leaders, and only then will the nation really have that possibility of returning to God without their uh, malevolent influence. And it may seem harsh to us, but, but we know that in the long view, this is actually God's mercy toward his people. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Zedekiah's repentance wasn't very deep, and that seems very clear after we've looked at our reading for today. Please, when it comes to my heart and the heart of each listener, we pray that our repentance will be deep, that there will be something you can work with, that you'll be able to do mighty works in changing us uh, and giving us an authentic and deep-seated repentance. Please, Lord, work in my heart, work in the heart of each hearer. And if it could be, I know it's thousands of years later, but if it could be, we would be praying that you would work even in the heart of Zedekiah. But I know Jeremiah was praying that back at that time. Oh, Lord, may it be true for us that you're able to do what you want to do. May we not be standing in your way. And we thank you for hearing our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. So, a glimmer of spiritual interest, uh, we find out, is not enough. But, like the hymn says, we must wholly lean on Jesus' name. The intensities of Zedekiah's hour demand more of him spiritually. And I believe the intensities of the hour that you and I are living in demand more of us spiritually than possibly we've been giving. Let us draw closer yet. And come up onto higher ground. Oh, the Lord be with you this week as you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day.